In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a comic strip using stripgenerator.com. Go ahead and click Create New Strip, and we're not going to sign up unless our teacher says it's okay. The first thing you want to do is go to the Frames button, and because this assignment requires at least eight frames, go to the Full Page mode and select a template that has at least eight frames. You can change the view of your template by dragging this red box around also by changing the zoom in and out and also by clicking the hand and dragging it. Okay? You can change the frames themselves by clicking the edit frame button, selecting a frame and then dragging it to make it larger or smaller. When you're done, go back to the edit object mode. There's several things you can add to your frames, like characters, items, or text. In the characters, there's people and different characters. There's also beings, which include animals and other alien-like creatures, robots, etc. In the items, you can find various items. like these. And in the text, there are speech bubbles, thought bubbles, and titles. Titles are just going to be boxes. But an interesting way to make a title is to drag it larger and have it cut off part of your frame. You can double click to change the title. Hello. There. On the right hand side, you can drag to change the text size, and you can change the roundness of the frame, the border size, the blur, etc. And that's true of all the different frames. So if I wanted to give this guy a thought bubble, I would drag it onto my frame. I can make it coming from his head by adjusting that, and double click and say, hmm, changing the text size, and changing the border size is going to change your frame and what it looks like. There's the roundness changed. You can also drag to make it smaller or larger. The same is true of the characters. If I click on a character, I can drag to make it larger. I can go to a corner to rotate it. I can click these boxes to flip it upside down or left and right. And on the right hand side, I can also change the opacity and change the blurriness of the character. If I wanted to move this dog to a different frame, I would click on him and then click on the Move to Frame button and then select a frame to move it to. Now that puts him on top of my other character, so then I would want to click on the Back button and send him behind. Right now I'm just going to move him back to this frame, just like that. So you get the main idea here of what you can do. And when you're done, you're going to click the Finish button. You can give your comic strip a title, Hello World, and then click Publish. You're going to want to make sure that you remain anonymous unless you've been given permission to create an account. It's going to pop up here, and you just click Remain Anonymous. Something I've noticed is that it takes a few minutes before you can link this to your blog. It's going to take three or four minutes before this goes live on the web and is updated. In my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go from this screen to importing this comic strip into your blog. 